Hey guys, Ham Soto here, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. I am at the fluorescent fossil beds again. And this time I think my idea is, I'm gonna finish my testing on my uh, Yesu FT-857D. I think I have it uh, now down where I understand uh, the tuning concept. So I will uh, break out the radio, uh, put up my uh, infed half wave, uh, probably also the pack antenna, and I'm going to attempt to do the uh, tuning on uh, both of those antennas uh, using the radio and trying to film it. And so some things I discovered, there's some settings uh, in the menu options that uh, are supposed to be set to tuner. Uh, and I know there's some options for if it's controlled by cat cable, uh, but this is an external tuner. And so I should have set those to tuner and I had not had that setting in place yet. And so uh, that may be the difference in what was happening over at uh, Manitou Lake in the Pike National Forest. And so I'm going to uh, see if I can film the new uh, way to do it, uh, see if that makes any difference. Uh, the infed shouldn't need uh, that much tuning, uh, but uh, you know I will do it nonetheless, as well as the Pac-10 Mini 9 to 1 Unun, uh, which is a random wire uh, that would need more. Uh, tuning control so I'm going to attempt to do uh, both of those so let's see what happens all right let me take you through a uh, quick overview of the setup so I've got a uh, camera mount there this is the FT-857D there is the LDG 100 plus tuner the uh, FT meter from LDG I've got the uh, POTA uh, app or website open I'm running power from both the tuner and the radio to my battery this is the impulse battery pack uh, it is a uh, 12 amp hour battery on the back side I've got coax running to antenna I've got the uh, jumper running from the radio to the transmit side of the tuner. I have the uh, Y accessory cable that goes from the Yaser radio to the LGG tuner. I've got the VHF antenna hooked up sitting here and then I'm running my coax this way right now to my KM4 ACK infed half wave Again, 67 feet long. This thing is suspended probably about 8 to 9, I'd say 9 feet. And it's running 67 feet that way over to a tree. Uh, and so got uh, the thing off the ground, I'd say probably nine, 8 to 9 feet all the way down. 20 foot coax running back over here to the table. And uh, not sure right now if that VHF uh, wire is going to affect uh, that coax. That one uh, uh, it's about 20, probably 28 degrees. And so let's see if we can get uh, get this thing going. So basically, uh, there's a couple of menu items, and so I'm going to get in the VFO mode. Function button. So now I'm at uh, noise blanking menu uh, 63. And so if I turn the select knob, which is the bottom knob, I'm going to get up to uh, the, uh, only 50 watts uh, through the infed half wave. And so RF power set to 50 watts. And I'm trying to find uh, the uh, tuner menu. There it is. Number 85, tuner. And again, if you uh, you know hit some of the different functions, it'll go to ATAS. And I think that's for like a, a tuner that comes from Yesu. But you gotta have this on tuner, on menu 85. And there's another menu uh, starting out at the beginning. See where it is. Uh, let's see. I want to 
so much. There it goes. Alright, so do I use a cap uh, cable? Uh, I don't know what the line cable is, and then the tuner, and that's external. And so that's also on tuner. And so then if I hold the function key down again, it's back on where it needs to be for the radio. And so uh, briefly pressing the function key brings up a short menu, and I want to be in the uh, SWR uh, display. And so I'm there. I'm going to hit the uh, down to change the, uh, the actual uh, frequency bandwidth. So right now, I'm on uh, uh, 20 meters, and if I want to tune on this channel, uh, all I basically need to do, in essence, is press the tune button, hold it for a second, the red light will come on, I'm going to do a full tuning. And so I'll hold it until the red light goes off. I'll let go. It's supposed to change the radio down power wattage, key it up on CW as a carrier, and then tune it. And the SWR green light should come on. So let me hold this down for a second. And so the green light didn't come on. And so... Again, let me change the, uh, let me look at the uh, power function. And what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to change the power. And I'm not sure if it did or not. So I'm going to change the power down to 5 watts. And then I'm going to do that again. Red light. Focus. It went off. And then I got the green light. And then I got, uh, it looked like four green beeps. So let me stop it and look at the uh, video real quick. I'm going to go down to uh, 40 meters. I think that's where this thing is tuning best. Roger. Is this frequency in use? Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. So I'm running the uh, tuner. Let's see if you can see this. So I'm going to tune on this channel. Hold the tune button for a second. Red light comes on. Red light goes off. Green light stays on. Solid. So it is tuned. So it automatically key keyed to CW. It tuned to that frequency. It stayed uh, on that frequency tuned. And so now... Uh, I don't have to uh, do anything but basically just transmit. I'm going to set up on this uh, channel and uh, and run this activation like that. So I want to say uh, apparently the KM4 ACK infant half wave is usable obviously on my QRP rig but when I try to do it uh, with uh, 50 watts it doesn't want to tune so I'm going to try 25 watts it's getting closer with lower power but it's about a 3 to 1 and so let me drop it down to 10 watts So now I'm basically running QRP with it. And it's got SWR, 2 to 1. Uh, I mean, obviously not ideal, but it's tuning at uh, lower power. And so, uh, kind of defeats the purpose of having uh, a high power radio. Now, if I go over to uh, 40 meters, I was tuning at 50 watts, no problem. I mean, it immediately tuned and was uh, good to go. But when I'm trying to tune uh, high power on any of the other bands, even though um, 
the way that uh, it's described on the uh, on the website and in the videos is once you get it tuned, say somewhere around in the 40, you should be able to use it on other bands. Well, of course, QRP, I was, but high power, it's not working like that. So it is uh, tuning at 10 watts on these frequencies. So tuned on 10 watts and nice good SWR signal, bumped it up to 50, and then made the park to park. And so uh, the, on the website, it says there's no problem doing that. And so I think that's a viable option. Uh, Power wasn't supposed to change the SWR, but it doesn't seem like it wants to do it naturally off the 50 watts. And so that's kind of an unusual little cir circumstance there. All right, I have the uh, Pac-10 Mini set up exactly the same direction uh, in the same uh, tree branch as I had the infed half wave and so now I'm going to see uh, what the tuning is like that way uh, with the uh, random wire okay I'm going to I'm going to tune it let me try tuning it at 50 watts and see what that does Okay, so it had the green light, but it looks like it's three, three to one. So let's lower the power. To 10. It's two to one, but it's not... Uh, Huh, it's not giving me the green light. So. Yeah, 73. All right, so that was British Columbia on the random wire. I got it tuned on 10 watts and I bumped it up to 100 watts. And so, a uh, little difficult to get to him. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little difficult, but uh, it did get to him, that's for sure. Uh, bands, you know, conditions could be up or down. You know, that's not uh, that big a deal. Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo, park to park. Is it Kilo Zero? Roger, Roger, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. It is, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. You, are you doing QRP? I'm not. I'm doing 100 watts. Right on, right on. All right. Well, uh, I got you about a 5.7 taking action. All right. Just finished up. Uh, ended up with uh, 14 contacts, including uh, one uh, VHF uh, simplex. And so uh, the setup seems to work. I was getting out. Um, I don't know. I'm... I'm I'm, I think I'm happier right now with my Elecraft uh, KX2 uh, doing the uh, QRP. And I don't seem to, to have as much trouble when I'm doing just 10 watts. And so not sure if that's just something I got used to or um, that's just kind of the, uh, the way I feel about it. Um, sorry about it flipping. I think the battery died on my, uh, on my little stick. And so I'll just kind of hold it uh, here, keep it from turning. Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, and so uh, again, the uh, Pac-10 Mini 9 to 1 Un Un. I've got it as a sloper. Uh, it's up in the tree, right behind my head. And so uh, it's running down, sloping right here. And it runs straight pretty much to that rock. I have it sitting uh, with a stick uh, underneath that rock. And so 
again uh, how did the whole thing operate uh, tuning on the LDG Z100 plus I would tune on 10 watts and then I would bump the power up uh, to you know 50 watts on the infit half wave and 100 watts on the uh, pack tenna and that seemed to work uh, just fine I was able to get out I got British Columbia on the pack tenna and uh, Texas uh, to fill KI5 Oscar Lima Victor and uh, everywhere else that you're going to see is going to be with the infit half wave at 50 watts and again pretty much uh, that's the way it seems like it's going to go now I've read different things and uh, what uh, was said on LDG's website was when you use the accessory cable it keys the radio up it'll do a uh, carrier frequency tone or carrier frequency let's say CW and it's supposed to drop power tune and then uh, go back and raise power and that's not what seemed to happen what seemed to happen was it would tune at the power you were set at and either not tune or show you that it faulted and so when I would drop the power myself to 10 watts it would tune just fine and I get the green light saying that it was tuned then I would bump the power back up to 50 watts or 100 watts and then I would make contact so uh, if you get the Z100 plus uh, antenna tuner and you're trying to use it with the Yesu, uh at least the FT857D even with the accessory cable it will uh, give you a carrier frequency whether it's CW or FM or whatever and so it seems like it is doing that but it's not tuning at full power and so uh, I drop the power myself tune get a good SWR and then raise the power back up I don't know how many times I can say that that's what happened and so appreciate you watching uh, this is how I uh, finally got the thing set up to work and again I think this would be more if I'm going to use this on a field day so I have power behind me but for the most part especially when I'm traveling out of state it seems like my Elecraft KX2 is the uh, better deal for me. So appreciate you watching Ham Solo uh, K0FYR affiliate links down there in the uh, in the description of the video. Uh, valuable coupons and there's still the giveaways going on with Bridgecom. So go check them out. Thanks. 73.